Welcome back to another Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz, and again, we're continuing to go through the book of 1 Timothy. We're in chapter 3, looking at verse 16, because it is such an important verse as it speaks to what we as Christians ought to believe about Jesus. And it reads, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit. Now, there's a total of six points here. We'll, we'll look at the second one today, justified in the Spirit. And again, this portion of Scripture is likely a creed of the early church. It's what they believed about Jesus, and therefore, the Holy Spirit puts it in the Word of God here, and it's something that we should be believing about Jesus as well. Now, first of all, they and we believe or assert that Jesus was God manifested in the flesh. Next, they and we believe that he was justified in the spirit. Now, these first two declarations boil down to the fact that Jesus is the sinless son of God. The word justified here is like a verdict. Jesus is declared to be fully righteous, ever without sin. And we declare here that he is the just one, completely innocent one, spoken of in Acts 7.52. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who foretold the coming of the just one. And in 1 John 2, 1, Jesus is referred to as Jesus Christ, the righteous. Then in 1 John 2, 29, he is righteous. And in Acts 22, 14, then he said, the God of our fathers has chosen you that you should know his will and see the just one. And in Revelation 16, 5, and I heard the angel of the waters saying, you are righteous, O Lord, and he's speaking to Jesus, the one who is and who was and who is to be. Well, I mean, you get the idea. Jesus is declared to be righteous by the Spirit of God himself. And this declaration was obviously an important part of the message that the church was and is to declare to the world. Jesus is the Christ the Son of the living God. This justification by the Spirit was further proved to us at his baptism, when the Spirit descended on Jesus and declared, "This is," and God declared, this is my Son in whom I am well pleased. And later on, in the Mount of Transfiguration, when the disciples saw him in all his pure glory and heard the Father declare again, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, hear him. This spirit-revealed truth about Jesus is held dear in the heart of the believer who clearly hears the voice of the Father, while to the unbeliever, the voice of the Father remains muffled thunder, as it was in John 12, 28. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Therefore, the people who stood by and heard it said that it had thundered. Jesus, the sinless Son of God, muffled gobbledygook to the unbeliever, but a crystal clear Holy Spirit revelation to those who believe. We are Christians, and this is what we believe about Jesus. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.